Okay, let's let's check how that rod is handling that fish. See, as I say, it's good, you know, for small fish. It has a finesse for small fish, but also it's very good for big fish as well. That's a good pike. Really, really handling this fish. As I say, that's a quality fish. About five kilos, if not more. And yeah. Oh yeah, easy five kilos. She's a fat girl. How about that for a rod? Super light rod for a big fish. This is what I call awesome fishing. With maximum, you know, enjoyment and pleasure when landing fish just like that. Awesome! Just look how fat she is. Probably about five kilos almost, I would say. Because, you know, she had a sizable lunch. And yeah, that ultralight rod handled this fish beautifully. Result. So yeah, lovely, lovely rod. Right, what we are dealing with here. So that's a queen super light aging. The code of this rod is SAS 762S. So it means that it's 7.6 feet. So it will be about 2 meters and 30 centimeters. And it's two piece rod. Casting rating from 0 0.6 to 10 grams. Line from 2 to 6 pounds. PE line from 0 0.3 to 0 0.8 P. So when it comes to casting rating from 0 0.6 to 10 grams, that's accurate. I tried like with one gram weight, it casts well. Maybe it would be a little bit more difficult to cast, you know, exactly 0 0.5, 0 0.6 grams, but still this rod would do it because it has that sensitive tip. So now let's have a look at the handle. As you can see, it's a two piece handle if you like. And it's short handle, it has about 20 centimeters from the end, not even 20, maybe 18 centimeters from here to here. And that's a hard foam. And it has like a carbon, like a ring around here, looks pretty slick. And pink ring here, then it says Power X Plus, and it has that carbon wrap. It's not only uh, imitation, it helps with the and uh, making the blank more powerful as well than the real seat. As you can see, it's kind of skeleton type uh, real seat. And for my taste, it's very, very comfortable. And it's a Fuji real seat. It has somewhere written that it's Fuji. Oh yeah, just here. <laughs> so yeah, it's a Fuji real seat. And now above the real seat, we have again that hard foam with a pink ring which says sensitive design concept very sensitive design concept actually so yeah the like handle as I say it's durable and comfortable for my taste then the guides are the ones which has two legs and the first one from the real is with a long legs as well, as you can see. And those are Fuji guides. So it has one guide on the butt section and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think, on the on the tip section. And now and now the tip is solid one, quite short solid one. So from the end to here, so about 30 centimeters off solid tip and it has like a two gaps between the guides white on or painted in white but this one I painted in black because I kind of believe that it's easier for me to see the bites when I have shorter uh, contrasting tip so and the guides are again quality and they are all are Fuji now when it comes to the action of this rod it's fast it's not extra fast but it's fast as you can see only tip bends almost but then as the blank is so slim actually when you hook a bigger fish all blank helps you know to absorb those big 
runs from the fish, and that's great. And sensitivity on this rod is really, really good. Not only you will be able to see the bites on the tip, but you will feel through the through, through the blank those bites as well. Because as they say, the carbon used for this blank is a 40 ton carbon. So very, very high quality Tory carbon. When it comes to the weight of this beautiful rod, it weighs, if I remember correctly, the spinning version weighs about 83-85 grams. So it's very, very light rod for the length, and that's great. The casting version is a little bit heavier, but that's fine still because probably it's using different handle But the blank is absolutely the same and when it comes to the balancing this rod out You need to be careful. So for the spinning version you need to choose that when this is not helping But basically for the spinning version you need to choose a reel which weighs about 180 grams and then you will have that perfect balance as you can see that wind is not helping but yeah balance is just here and I have in this case that's a Diva Fuego at 2000 size with a replaced spool still with a line it weighs about 180 grams again it's not a super light reel but again as the rod is a little bit longer you need a little bit heavier reel to compensate for that length of the rod so yeah Diva Fuego 2000 or any other reel which weighs about two well under 200 grams 180 will be ideal to get that perfect balance as you can see this edge looks really awesome with some flow in the river you know very very likely that some pike will be hunting around the edge those fry which are hiding from the flow no no quick take that looks perfect sun is shining on this bank as well Just a little bit further, but still along the bank. Come on, you fish. As you can see, it's very, very windy. Today, well, it could be worse, but it's not great at the moment either. No, nothing. See how that rod kind of lets me know what kind of bottom I am on. I can tell immediately that I have some bead around and I have offset hook, I should be fine. No, no grab. Come on you fish. Okay, let's try here. Nice little flick, don't need to cast very far. Because I kind of know the area and know where the fish might be. And in this case, not too far. <laughs> Presenting my rig on the bottom, not lifting it off the bottom like at all. Just dragging slowly with thought twitch. And you know, hoping to fool a fish by doing so. yet come on you fish where are you all right guys change of location still i have that queen super light aging in my hands and let's hope that i'll be able to catch a few fish in here yeah let's go Right, new location. As you can see, I am around the boats. 
maybe some fish will be lurking around in here. Wow, that rod is sensitive. Come on, you fish, are you here? No. As you can see, I hope you can see that tip somewhat, but I can, you know, judge everything, what kind of bottom I have, and so on. Every little patch of weed, or contact with the weed, little stones, some muscles. I know everything, basically, obviously, because the wind, is allowing me to do that and it's not too deep in here and it's barely uh, moving as well this river so yeah but sensitivity is really very very good on this rod no no grab as you can see I'm using one of them improved jigger rigs where I have a weight and a hook in a decent sized loop probably when extended it will be like four centimeters or so and it's floating lure as well and I went with the offset hook this time because it's still relatively weedy so yeah let's see what we can catch that's an awesome you know winter rig by far the best of ones you can get come on you fish give me a chance and that weight I went for it 7 grams I could go with a longer uh, with a smaller one or lighter one but uh, as it's still windy don't want you know to to be messing about and this rod is easy you know capable to handle 7 grams pr plus lure so it will be about 9 grams I would believe on a couple of occasions I used to cast 10 grams plus small lure it was perfect you know you can overload it like you know maybe 10 11 grams but that's it, it would not go any further than that it's a delicate still rod and you you need to respect that you know come on you fish no how about that that's a decent Decent pike, change of location worked. Couple minutes in and I have a fish on. Okay, let's let's check how that rod is handling that fish. See, as I say, it's good, you know, for small fish. It has a finesse for small fish, but also it's very good for big fish as well. That's a good pike. Very, very sensitive rod. It's a good fish. would like to see it we'll make sure I'm you know standing in a good position and with this long rod I even though I have boats from both sides you know I can kind of extend it you know and have better control I mean still that fish is a big one and it might might end up you know snagging me or something some vortex yeah good fish double figure pike think it will be oh yeah, yeah yeah easy nice one very long fish as well see that rod is handling this fish beautifully really really handling this fish as I say that's a quality fish about five kilos if not more and yeah Oh yeah, easy, 5 kilos. She's a fat girl. How about that for a rod? Super light rod for a big fish. This is what I call awesome fishing. With maximum, you know, enjoyment and pleasure when landing fish just like that. Awesome! Alright, you beauty, thank you for that fight. But just look how fat she is. Wow, okay, thank you. Swim back. 
awesome result all right guys heading home uh, i have to say i still am very very impressed with this rod i'm using it for a couple of years and yeah it's still working and it's still up to date very much so yeah if you will decide to check it out i will leave those links in the description below but that's it thanks for watching and see you in the next one